and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In my opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to show you how to fix your posture with three movements forever. So that includes in the grave, I guess. Uh, oh, by Bob. the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, and pain free. Also, if you go to bobandbrad.com, go to the giveaway section. Always giving something away. I wonder what we're giving away this week. <laughs> Perhaps a massage gun, Yeah, Bob. we're giving away a massage gun. These are really cool things. Uh, you can go to Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. And, Brad, what else do we have? Podcasts out there going crazy, Bob. People That's are right. loving them. Lots of good information for everyone. Bob, we're talking about posture, how to fix your posture, three movements, and forever, as opposed to just a temporary uh, fix, and then it's, you go back to this. Well, one of the things is you have to know if you have bad posture. That's a good point, Bob. So, Test. You know, right. as therapists, we test and we're going to show you some simple tests you can do to yourself to easily assess where you're at. So this first one, look at some photos of yourselves. You know, nowadays photos are like a dime a dozen or a dime right. a gazillion. Everybody's taking digital. It's not like right. when we were in high school, a photo was pretty rare. Yeah, know? right. You, you couldn't go, afford it. You had to go to the store and you had to process it. <laughs> yeah, that's another story. But no, seriously, look at some photos or videos. Video, even more helpful. Yeah, I found out how terrible my posture was riding my bike when we did a video on it. And right. And I thought, who is that picture that guy with that rounded back and it was me and for me it was push-ups oh my god they were awful <laughs> yeah so there you know use the digital world for your assistance there also go to your family and friends yeah uh bob talks about all the time when your my wife your, your wife reminds she you she loves to correct me Yes. I don't know why my wife isn't that bad on me well, with you have posture. Your posture probably. Well I don't know but anyways uh you know I better not say anymore I'll get in trouble. Yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, you know, head. they're friendly uh, criticism, you yeah, know, constructive right. criticism. I, and I have a mirror right by, uh, you might find this weird, but right by my, we don't, my desk. We don't have to So know. I can look over and I can see if oh, I have good posture. Yeah, that is. It's like when you go to a, a workout gym, there's a yes. lot of times mirrors on the wall to see body mechanics while right. you're lifting. Well, this is the same thing as body mechanics throughout the day. Uh, the other way you can do it is simply go up to a flat wall like this and... Put your bottom up against the wall, and then put your shoulder blades up against the wall, and then see, you know, if you're standing here, how far are your shoulders from the wall, and how far is your head from the wall? If you have perfect posture, we're going to, the back of your head should be touching, your chin should be slightly down, your shoulders should be back, uh, your chest is slightly out, and you can bring your feet up towards the wall, you know, and here we're to that, you know, Attention stance if you're, as if you were in the military. But so obviously, we're not going to walk around like this, but it's here in a relaxed phase. So we're going to well, show one you. One thing you want to find out if you can even get into that. Well, position. that's a good point. If Bob. you go like this, Brad, and you're going like this, yeah, to touch that's the wall. That's the way to touch the wall. Yeah. You don't have enough retraction here. No, then you're going to have to start working these. Yeah. And your shoulder blade should be able to go flat against the wall. Yep. Yeah. And, and that, that just, and, just temporarily, you yes. should be able to do it. And if you go out like this, now I know I'm a little tight. Yeah. I can get my le right elbow to touch, but my left elbow left is a little elbow. tight. So right. I know I, I'm a little tight on the and left you side. you surely can't put your hands flat. This one I can. And that one you can. My left side is a little tight. So yeah. we're assessing not only posture, but asymm asymmetries, if you of, will. Of the range of motion. Exactly. So what are these uh, well, how are you three movements? This? Well, yeah. naturally... It all fall, boils down to one letter in the alphabet, Bob. And what does that letter look like here? W. A w. Yeah. It's, I always remember, you know, Wisconsin, not Minnesota. Uh, Wisconsin. <laughs> Either that or it's like Cassiopeia. Shouldn't it be an L for loser? Oh, <laughs> Bob. Why, Bob? Why? Anyways, let's go on to this. So you do this. You squeeze your shoulder blades together, and you form that W. Now, and it's going to be nice if you can do this throughout the day. We don't want you just doing it once. Right. Do it throughout the day, 
and you're going to get much better results. Yeah, so do about three to five of them at least. You can do yeah, up to ten. Them off. It only takes ten seconds. So we're strengthening the muscles in the back, stretching the ones in the front, and that's going to allow that posture to start forming for you so you don't have to think about it. If you're at a desk, you can simply do them, yeah. you know, take, take a mini break every half hour. It'll refresh you, plus it'll remind you where your posture is supposed to be because you probably have crept forward like this, yeah. mm -hmm. and this will bring you back where you should be. Yep. So it's, the, the key is, is to do all these regularly not just once a day but every hour every 30 minutes do three to five make of them. It a habit yep if make you want to habit. increase it if you've got some these stretch bands they're really Exercise good size bands yep we're going to do this and make w's i can if we look towards the yep. camera i can do it this way you know, you can hook it up. We've got the wall anchor. They work well. Or any other object, uh, a post or uh, wherever you're at. You know, in the office, you might have a hard time finding something. Um, well, they have attachments for your door, too. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You can just put it in the door and hopefully right. don't let anybody walk through the door while you're doing right. it. No. <laughs> okay, problem. let's go to the second one. Now, this one I really like because it doesn't take a lot of effort. You can this relax. Yes. Okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, ideally... What you'll do is take a six inch foam roller that's three feet long. If you don't have one of these, that's okay. We've got options that don't cost anything as long as you have a towel and you roll a towel up relatively tightly. I think we actually rolled up two towels. No, we rolled up a sheet and a towel. Well, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Use some material, towel, a sheet, and get it so it's towel. pretty firm. Tape it. We use some yeah. nice red duct tape so you can see that. Yeah. Set that down. Now, you're not going to do it on your bed. You have to do it on, on the floor. Probably a carpeted floor is most comfortable. We'll do it here just because it's easier to film so you can see it. And you're going to put that right between your shoulder blades. And there we go. And I'm going to go to that W again. I can go up to here. And just let gravity. Is your head supported, work. Brad? Or no, it's not. It's not. That's the problem yeah. with a towel that's too sh short. You could put a pillow under there so you right. don't have to hold your Couple head up. Pillows. Um, I'll show you the, the with the roller. You could. It works a lot better. It's much more comfortable. Uh, if you get a roller for doing this, um, get one that's not real hard. The density they say of hard, medium, and soft. This is a medium. Right. And we find this is probably what we think most people. Yeah, would appreciate find comfortable. See, I can there rest my head. It puts my spine in really good posture. And if you can't get your head down, you could actually could use a pillow, or it comes with a little device too. You could. You know, I think you have to buy that extra. Yeah, you have to buy yeah. it. Or that towel roll. We had a towel roll. Right. Um, yeah. So some people have, necks will be so tight. This posture like is impossible. But gravity, hopefully, will just let that. Relax over time. And I know you're not going to do this every hour unless you work from home. Uh, but at a workplace, they probably won't allow it. But this is a really nice, comfortable, and easy way to work on that posture. Yep. Uh, correct those forward shoulders, yep. those rolled shoulders. I've seen people even take weights. Oh, sure. Go back like yeah. that. Just yeah. let it stretch. And you wouldn't even need, you know... A soup can, if you don't have weights yeah, on, may right. be enough weight. Yep. Uh, and now this last one is one of my favorite ones because all you need is a wall. Sure. It really works strengthening the back muscles and the hips uh, and up across the whole area that influences posture. Feet about shoulder width wide, your hands on the wall, just about eye level, forehead level. And what I'm going to do is take my right hand and go up like this, and at the same time, I'm going to take my left leg and extend the hip behind me, and it really does a nice job on strengthening those yeah. back muscles while you're in He's a standing position. He's working along position. the entire length of the spine here. We're getting all the way along here. All those muscles are working from the top of the hip from the neck. And then the other thing is, is make sure you're doing your chin tuck while you're doing this. Don't let your head drop. Yeah, then you're actually, for sure, hitting the whole spine. Yep. So I'm going back like this. I did 10 on each side, and I can feel those muscles fatigue and start to burn a little bit. They're working now, and you get away. I just like that one because it's a little more functional yeah. in a way. You want to show the bonus, Brad? 
Oh, a bonus. Oh, ah. We're always giving a bonus. Yeah. And this one is something. Well, we've fell into this a couple of years ago, but I, I really like it. I'll show. Yeah. <laughs> so if you happen Thank to have you. a pull-up bar at home, uh, we use the hanging handles because it does work nice if you can grab something so your back is up against the wall. And that's going to provide that perfect posture. My head's going to touch if I can get it to touch. My Bottom Back's right, all lined up. Yep. Yeah. And I'm going to slowly lower myself down. So Bob, you want to talk about the getting, other benefits with this? Well, we're getting some decompression of the spine, <laughs> mm -hmm. but you're actually working the shoulders. Just, In fact, that's where we first started discovering this, Brad, right. is Dr. Kirsch. He's a retired orthopedic surgeon. Shoulder surgeon. Yeah. yeah and he wrote a whole book on this. And, and uh he, you know, he's got a lot of testimonials in the book mm -hmm. that refer to the fact that people were about to go in for surgery and had their rotator cuff repaired, and they started hanging. Yep. And they didn't need surgery. The pain went away. They got motion back. They got strength back. It was amazing. And, and they hang like this for maintenance. Yep. You know, once a, once a few times a week or whatever. Um, yeah. And well, they'll first start off hanging several times a day. Right. Yeah, initially. Uh, we've pain. got the book underneath below our, our video somewhere there. Yeah, I can. It's well written here. for the lay person as well as for the therapist to explain. Because I, I thought this was a crazy thing to do when I first heard about it. But uh, after reading the book and understanding and looking at the history, it's uh, become a part of my I'm life. Grab the book, Brad. Oh, we found it? Yep. Oh, look at that. Shoulder pain, the solution and uh, prevention, the exercise that heals the shoulder and relieves back pain. And, and it is going to benefit your posture as well. Yep. Fifth That's edition, John M. Kirsch. There you go. Yeah, show them. See? Okay. All right. I, I'm feeling taller. I can I, I can breathe you, better now. Strong like bull. I'm strong like bull. After you do your posture exercise, you do feel better. You can breathe better at all. It does wake you up for sure. Yeah. You have, any, you have anything else to say? No, Bob? bravo. Yeah. Be careful in everything yeah, that you careful. do. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs>